In this video, we'll be looking into conversion of NFA to DFA. So previously, we have done the subset construction method. In this video, uh, we'll be looking into using lazy evaluation method. So this is the NFA given. So this is the NFA given. So from the given NFA, firstly, we have to obtain the transition table. That is our first step. So a, B and here Q0 being the start state, Q1 and Q2 being the final state. Q0 on A gives Q0 itself and Q0 on A gives Q1. So here we can write Q0 and Q1. So Q0 on B gives Q0, Q1 on A gives Q1, Q1 on B gives Q2, Q2 on A does not give anything, Q2 on B is also null. So our next step is to construct the transition table of DFA. So moving on to the step 2 that is transition table construction. Or DFA. So here we'll write DFA A B and the only uh, you know peculiarity about lazy evaluation method is that it is very easy. So it is an easy easier approach to convert the NFA to DFA. So first the state which we, we would include is the start state q0 so let's write q0 in square brackets and let's write the same thing here again q0 q1 and here q0 so our next step would be defining this state this state okay so let's write q0 and q1 here so uh, transition of q0 q1 on a q0 on a is q0 q1 and q1 on a is q1 so union of q0 q1 and q1 gives us q0 q1 itself so we have defined this state yes done our next is um, q0 q1 on b so q0 q1 on b gives q0 and q2 so q0 and q2 we have written it here so yes so we have defined q0 on q1 on a and b our next step is to define Q0, but Q0 is earlier defined. So let's put a tick mark here. Next, we need to go with Q0 and Q1. Q0 and Q1 is defined here. Yes. Then we have Q0 and Q2. Let's write Q0 and Q2 here. And define Q0 and Q2 on A firstly. If you define Q0 and Q2, you'll get Q0 and Q1. And here you get Q0 itself. So Q0 and Q2 is defined, Q0, Q1 is earlier defined and Q0 is also defined. So we have defined all these. So start state being Q0 and end state being Q2. Wherever this Q2, I add a star mark. Yes, that's Q2 here. So now we have two options, either to draw a transition diagram for this or rename the states for easier transformation, uh, easier transition diagram representation. So what I'll do, I'll take Q0 Let's write this again here. So what I'll do, I'll take Q0 as A. Okay. And uh, Q0, Q1 as B. And Q0, Q2 as C. So let me write it here. I'll take this as A, this as B and this as C. So here A means Q0, Q1 will be B. And here A again. Q0, Q1 is B. Q0, Q2 is C. Q0, Q1 is B. Q0 is A. So writing it here. B, A. B, C. And again B, A. So we have done with our step 2. Now let's move on to the step 3. That is... Step 3 is the transition diagram for renamed DFA
DFA. So A being the start state, A to B, and B to C being the end state. So A on A gives B, A on B gives A itself, B on A gives B, B on B gives C. C on A gives B, C on B gives A. So we have done with uh, drawing the transition diagram. Our last step is to define the MDFA values Q, Sigma, transition function Q0 and F, where Q would be Q would be Q0, Q1, and Q2. Sigma would be A and B. Transition function is defined. And Q0 being the start state, that is A. And F being the final or accepting state, that is C. So here we have converted NFA to DFA using lazy evaluation method. I hope you have understood this uh, process. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.